So there's that saying that I'm sure everyone's already heard before about like brows frame the face and all of that jazz and they really do make a big difference to you know the overall grooming of the face. It's all about for me really subtle you know delicate movements filling in gaps you know uh, cheating the brow a little bit if we need to make it a little fuller um, and lengthening if we need to as well. So I always start with a little spoolie and comb the brows up so then we can really see what we're working with. You know we can see where the gaps are and we can really kind of get in there without making a mess. Okay, so we just comb them up so that they look nice and tidy. And you know what, Lexi has great brows anyway, so we don't need to do a ton of work to make them look perfect. Um, but there's a few little tricks that I love. So I love to start off with a brow pencil. Um, and usually I'll go a lighter, tone to the hair. If you use the same color, it can, you know, once it touches the skin, it can start to look too dark. So I usually go a shade lighter. Um, so we're just going kind of for an ashy blonde. And now what I can see is there's a few little gaps through the brow that we can fill. Um, the arch here is quite thin, so we can almost kind of fill it out slightly to make them look a little thicker and wider. And then the length it's pretty good, you know, they fade off slightly so we can s just ever so lightly pull off the edge of those. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start just by filling the gaps. And this pencil is so great because it has a little tip on the applicator. So we can just really lightly fill in those gaps, almost like drawing hair. I don't like to come right into this inner corner because I love these little fluffy natural brows that you get in the middle here. You know, if I go all the way in, that takes away the softness of the brow. And then we can just lightly define this line. I can just bring it across slightly. We can just fill the gap on the top of the arch. Uh, so just really softly filling in the gaps. Um, I like to just lightly kind of bring it up on the top of the brow just so that we kind of get a nice even line. Um, we can just really lightly feather that on, like I said, just to thicken this out a tiny little bit um, without it being too straight. We've still got a really nice arch in there. And then it's the old trick, you know, where do I go? Where do I stop? Do I keep going? You know, you don't want to have those brows that come all the way back down again. You know, you've got to be very careful that it finishes in the right place. And it's the trick, you know, from the corner of the nose to the corner of the eye. You bring your pencil up and that's kind of where we want that brow to be finishing. And so we've filled the brow. Um, then I'll go back in with the spoolie again. And I love to just touch down on the skin. You know, it's actually touching the skin just to soften the edge of the pencil off. So we can't see kind of where it starts and stops. We don't want a hard line. I just want the color to kind of be in amongst the hair. And then that just takes a bit of the edge off and you haven't got like a heavy brow pencil kind of texture in there. And then the final thing is brow gel. Don't leave the house without it. Um, I always say that brow gel is like the most boring product to have to buy. Just a clear, boring old brow gel, but it really makes such a difference. So I comb up the brows again so they're nice and flat and then just kind of comb down the bits that are a little too high. So comb down the outer corner. It's almost like hairspray, you know, it's like that final finish for your brows. And then that will dry and just keep them in place. Yeah, so you can see, you know, the difference between the brow that we've done and the brow that we haven't done um, is that it just has a more structured line to it. it the edges are still really soft, um, but you just get a little bit more definition. So this is how I create beautiful, groomed, uh, fluffy, natural looking brows. Mm.